This is Morning Line with Nick Barris. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Nick Barris here with you on a Tuesday morning. This is Morning Line, and it's always a pleasure, as always. I hope you're having a good day so far. Just sit back and join in the conversation. Listen in. What do we have on tap today? Well, the affairs of the great city of Nashville. Um, whether you live here or you come from out in the outer lying areas, let's face it, it's the centerpiece here in the state of Tennessee and Middle Tennessee, and a lot going on right now, specifically at the top of the agenda right now in terms of money and spending, as you know, is the idea of a new stadium for the Titans, the plan in the works, but keep in mind, as much talk as we've heard from the mayor and other city leaders, it really comes down ultimately to what the Metro Council decides because they hold the purse strings and the money and moving forward with the votes. And uh, we have now the second meeting coming up tonight to discuss where we stand on this, how we go about raising the money, whether or not it's going to go there, maybe some of the concerns council members have. Because if you hear from the mayor, you know, and Butch Spearden was on this show, I mean, they really lay it out and it sounds pretty good all things considering considering the uh, the contract we're under from the past but other issues here that you know need to still be explored before we decide to spend two billion dollars and again who spends it it's not taxpayer dollars uh, specifically as the mayor says we'll get into all that we can take some of your calls other issues that we'll talk about it's happening at tonight's meeting because the vice mayor is with us um, fresh from a trip to Ireland. And I understand that uh, in Belfast, they're in the middle of discussing a new soccer stadium and how to pay for it and to build it. Am I right on that? No, you're not. Correct okay, on but that. that would have been pretty yeah. cool if you were there visiting some friends that you told me and they said, well, we have a stadium deal. And you said, we're working on the same thing here in Nashville. Aren't they our sister city? They are one of our many sister cities. Yeah. We, have, we have nine of them and working on a tenth one, <laughs> which is in Kurdistan. Really? Okay. I yeah. Did we have nine sister cities. We have nine. Belfast, we've had a relationship with for about 25 years. Is Athens another one, right? Athens it, is not one. It's not, well, we yeah. have a Parthenon. What was that from? No, that was from the Greece. centennial. The, okay, I know. I thought we have some <laughs> Greek. What are some of the other sister cities? So we have two in China, oh, Chengdu okay. and Taiwan. We have one okay. in Australia, Tamworth. We have uh, Kamakura, Japan, uh, Edmonton, Canada. Huh. We have Magdeburg, Germany, Caen, France, Mendoza, Argentina. <laughs> I think I did I get them. And you're working on Belfast. visiting all of them, aren't you? No, I'm only uh, I've only visited one, and that's yeah. Belfast. Well, uh, count me as envious. A great trip, it sounds like you had there, and it's interesting. I didn't know they were a sister city of ours. So Belfast, yeah. So I'm not. I forget exactly how that relationship started, uh, but the interesting th thing about it, Nick, is um, they're a they're not as large as we are, but. Um, I like the fact um, that, well, first of all, they're a very warm and caring city. Mm. Second of all, they're, they're not necessarily, if you go to Ireland, you usually fly into Dublin and then go south, go to the, you know, kiss the Blarney Stone or whatever. <laughs> Northern Ireland sometimes gets, uh, doesn't get as much mm -hmm. attention. But um, they were the site of the Troubles. Um, yeah, you're talking you know, about that. Um, yeah. Starting in like around the late 60s and running until they actually figured out a way to stop fighting with each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we could, you could spend a whole show, you could spend probably many shows on right. this, but it was the Protestants versus the Catholics. It was the, the folks that wanted to stay with um, the United Kingdom mm -hmm. against those who wanted to become Split part of a separate right. uh, republic. So now you've got the southern part, which is really the, the Republic of Ireland, and then you've got Northern Ireland that is still tied into the United Kingdom. Okay. But uh, demographics are shifting, and um, the Catholics were never in the majority, but I think they well, are And you now. notice a difference, I mean, because this is not your first time there, right? Right. So I'm just, uh, he had had a trip scheduled prior to this, you know, for one of your birthdays, and it didn't happen because of COVID. It may have worked out in a way. What, what is the currency there? Is it... Uh, uh, is it the euro or no, is it still? in Northern Ireland no, it's the pound. It's the pound, okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm curious because I have heard if you waited till the right time, I, the pound for a long time was just, you know, your money didn't go as far, American dollar, as it did. Is the exchange better right now? Yeah, I think it is. I've heard it's great. Now's the time if you can find a way to get to Europe to travel to a lot of places because now the dollar um, goes a little bit farther. Well, so uh, I, had a, I actually had some meetings over there. One was with the tourism folks. Yeah. And they want people to come visit. Sure. And um, it is, um, Belfast is a, a very interesting place. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take tours of um, the peace walls that are up there that separated um, Protestants from Catholics during the Troubles. But they're still up. Huh. Um, 
They also were the place where the Titanic was built. Yeah, and so there's a Titanic museum. Yeah. And it is one of the world's biggest attractions. Did you see the movie <coughs> Belfast? Yes, I did. Yeah, see, it just gives you that history. Well, it, it, so, so the movie Belfast was kind of at the beginning. Right. Um, but it is a, um, it's a really fascinating history. Yeah. And uh, went to Derry, which is where um, I think officially the trouble started. There was a march. Uh -huh. and, and you go to the, the Free Derry Museum and you start looking at it. And then you start going, wait a minute, this sounds, sounds very familiar. And... Um, and they have a big picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Mm. And a lot of people were watching closely how this country was dealing with civil rights. Uh -huh. And then their problems started uh, in terms of the troubles. Right, um, right. Wow. And people demanded, you know, they wanted freedom and they wanted certain rights. Mm -hmm. And um, it, um, it may, you know, everybody has their different sets of yeah. issues. But... Um, they were watching what uh, Dr. King was doing over here. Um, theirs turned, um, well, ours was violent too. Mm -hmm. uh, theirs became violent very quickly. And, um, but it's a fascinating history and involves this country in terms of working on a peace accord in 1999. Yeah. The Good Friday Agreement. <laughs> See, you know the history of all this, obviously, and that's what you know. When you go to travel a place like this, it helps if you have a background and knowledge. Well, I, the first time I went over there, I had no idea. So now, you, and but you've gone back. Now, think about that. That tells me something because you know I've gone places and I'm like I, I really enjoy them and I'd like to go back. But there's so many other places I want to go. But if I like it enough, I'll go back. You've gone back. I mean, to to Ireland more than once now. And well, it's <clears throat> so this time we spent some time in Belfast. Yeah, and it uh, wasn't. But then moved out to the northwestern part. It's exploring new areas. Um, yeah. So if you're a big Game of Thrones fan, um, <laughs> they filmed Game. They filmed Game of Thrones in Belfast primarily. Cool. Yeah. And then they they did um, uh, shots, or they filmed in different parts of Northern Ireland and other parts as well. Yeah. But you can drive along and um, stop, and they have placards, and you can see where they filmed. And you can just walk around and go, like, wait a no minute, this doubt. looks really familiar. That is a draw for tourism. Well, listen, you, uh, you headed out there after the council meeting two weeks ago, right? So That's right. You were gone for about a week. So you've been gone while, in your stead, there's been a full court press from the mayor's office. And uh, Butch Spiridon was on this show, along with the chief of staff uh, from the mayor's office, talking about, you know, this plan for the stadium. And I know a lot of uh, folks here in Metro looking close at it. Tonight, um, you'll be discussing part of it. I am I right? All right. You've got the plan from the mayor. We've got what the Titans want to do. The role now, I mean, this, for it to move forward, has to go through the council, correct? That's right. Okay, and it's because of the money. And what, what do you get the sense, uh, you know, of how council members are reacting to this deal? Are there things the mayor's office aren't telling us and they're painting it with such a rosy picture? Because they really are, in a lot of ways. Um, maybe that need to be explored, or is it true you think that most of the council seems to think, look, under our existing contract, this new one's better? I, I don't think anything's... Uh, everybody's trying to be transparent, as yeah, far as I know. Yeah, that's what I think, as far as uh, I can tell. We, um, we realized, you know, well, I mean, we've known this was coming for a while. Yeah. And so there was a... Uh, uh, Bob Mendes, who I know mm -hmm. has been on the show, and I had a conversation. And the, the feeling was, let's get ahead of this one instead of waiting until the end and then everybody's rushing, trying to figure out a very... what could be a very complicated yeah. deal. And um, so named Bob the chair, put, to be, put I think, six other uh, council members on it. And they've been working on it already. They were working on it long before the mayor made his announcement. Once the mayor made his announcement with the Titans, then they really went to, um, now they're meeting, I think, almost every week. And they're bringing people in to have a discussion about what all this stuff means. You know, <clears throat> uh, we have uh, the, the first reading uh, of the hotel motel taxes up tonight. And it's just on first reading, so it's not going to... Mm -hmm. But that's it, the increase, is what they're the saying increase. it's going to pay for yeah. a lot and of then, this. And uh, then the resolution got filed, which I was looking at. The resolution kind of sets out uh, different... I um, forget how they d decided. It, it doesn't... It's a resolution, but it kind of sets out some of the parameters of the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's... Um, uh, you have to start passing all this stuff together, along with maybe some other th stuff or other pieces that may be coming. Mm -hmm. 
So we'll just hold on to everything. My guess is that everything will just hold well, tonight. Do you perceive any, again, you're right, first reading on everything, but what, what do you perceive can be potential stumbling blocks for this deal? I, my sense is something is going to happen for sure one way or the other, but what could the stumbling blocks be? Well, so... Uh, you know, there were a lot of very smart people working on this for a long time. So what we were, what we have to particularly pay attention to is what is there any cost to taxpayers? Now, the the state stepped up. Uh, you know, with the five hundred million dollars in bonds, um, the Adams family that owns the team has stepped up, um, and the sports authority is now involved in the issuance of bonds. But it's all supposed to be paid for by you know, sales tax revenue and hotel motel tax revenue coming in. I think what we have to do is do our complete due diligence and and look for any holes in these operations that indicate where is there any gaps in this thing? Mm -hmm. Are there is there is there any way that we get left holding something? But again, very smart people worked on this, and I think it was made clear that Metro did not want to be holding the bag. Yeah, I guess the question is, that, that, and we'll talk about this, we've got to go to the break, is the numbers, when you talk about the hotel motel tax increase, one cent, is it... Um, is that going to be enough to cover the costs? And if there's a shortfall, and I guess the way I understand it, if there are cost overruns, that's something the Titans say they'll pick up. So that's my, that's my understanding. If that's the case, I mean, we'll take a break. I'm curious what some of our viewers think. Um, you know, if you'd like to sound off, we'll talk about some other issues with the city as well. But we'll talk more. I, I just want to get your take moving forward. You were around when we built the stadium the first time. Yeah. And the deal that came there. This one to me, and I, I, you know, I don't have a dog in this fight per se, but I mean, sounds like a better deal than what we had before. And so let's talk about that. We'll take your calls and continue our conversation with Jim Shulman right after this.